and greetings. I return with a video review of the Artifacts Plus Statue Wonder Woman by Kotobukiya. As with the other three that I have, character logo on the side, Justice League on the back, painted one-tenth scale figure, blah -de blah Cool art from the lineup picture that they're using, and Wonder Woman in her big giant plastic box. Who cares about the box? Bunch of Chinese gibberish on the back. Let's get this thing open. Wonder Woman comes in a clamshell. And with plastic between her and the clamshell to protect the paint job, presumably, but you can start to see it looks really good. The exact same stand as the other ones. And if we carefully peel off the plastic so it doesn't catch on her sword. We have magnets in her feet, again like the others. But, like Green Lantern, her feet don't look like they line up very well. So she's somewhat precarious. There doesn't seem to be much of a magnetic contact there. I have to heat up her legs a little bit and see if I can widen the stance a little bit. Wonder Woman looks really good. This is a, a nice deep midnight blue. Silver lines on her boots are nice and sharp. Silver on her bracelets and her arm is really good. The metallic red of her uh, top is really nice. The paint on the face looks really good. And it looks like I have it a little bit too light. Let's see if we can't darken it just a little bit. Is that a little better? Um, not much else to say about it, really. Lots of little sculpted lines that you can kind of see everywhere. Uh, no articulation, as with the other three. Uh, let's bring out Superman and Batman. And we'll have the DC Trinity. Does it matter what order we put them in? Cool. And why I bought these guys. Whoa. A little less. Come on. A little less. A little less. Anyway. I still dig these things even though they do absolutely nothing. They are completely static pieces. Um, I'm going to try and get Aquaman and Flash one of these days and then... Did they just announce a Supergirl and maybe a Batgirl? I'll get those two. But uh, for for forty bucks, it's expensive. I mean, it is just a piece of plastic, less plastic than the other two, as she's shorter and have a more slender build. But she's got a sword. That's cool. Her rope is also plastic. 